Hello, everybody, and welcome to another exciting and very emotional edition of Industrial Valco University, where you can get your PVF degree for absolutely free. I would like to first thank you for watching. You could be anywhere in the world, but you're here with me. I appreciate that. Today, we're going to talk about crosses, T's, and is this a lateral or a Y? Today, we're going to go deep into how these flow changing fittings can be used for you. If you'd like to learn about other flow changing fittings, you can see our other videos to learn more about the 45s, the 90s, and the 180 return bends. T's, Y's, or crosses have inlets or outlets that are not in line with the run of the fitting. A T joins three sections of pipe. Two of the sections will be part of the run, like you see here. The third section will be joined at a right angle, or 90 degrees of the run. The specifications of the T starts with the run and then goes to the branch. So a T that has equal pipe will just be considered a two inch T or whatever the pipe size is. You only need to give one number. However, if the pipe of the branch is a different size, you'll actually start with three different numbers, starting with the run and ending with the branch. For example, this branch will be two inches. So this would read as a three by three by two reducing T, but you can still specify in most instances as a three by two reducing T when ordering or getting a quote. A street T will have one end male thread, the other end will be female thread, which is of course the thread on the outside male and the thread on the inside female. A T with four openings is called a cross T, a double T, or simply enough, a cross. The flow are at 90 degrees of each other and all the openings are the same size and that is what you call a straight cross. A cross, like a T, with one or more sizes is considered a reducing cross with the specs always reading out with the largest opening. Okay, so now it's time for my favorite part of every episode. Did you know Industrial Valco University presents, Did You Know? Did You Know? Brigham Young University has a giant Y on the mountain that overlooks the campus. Did you know that? So why all the Y talk you ask? Well, number one, who doesn't love a good play on words? And number two, there's a lot of confusion on the difference between a Y, W, Y, E, and a lateral. So these two right here, you can see they have the same run, they both have branches with 45 degree angles. So what's the difference? The naming of the fitting has to do with two things, the material and the application. The cast iron fitting is more commonly referred to as a Y. These cast iron fittings are used for plumbing applications that commonly deal with water or sewage. The carbon steel fitting, on the other hand, would be referred to as a lateral. It is more durable and is used in industrial applications that mostly deal with chemical, oil, and gas. So again, the cast iron is used for plumbing and is considered a Y. The carbon steel is used for industrial and is considered a lateral. Which brings us to what is a true Y? A true Y, as you see here in this picture, has two branch pipes at a 45 degree angle at the top of the run with the two branch pipes symmetrical to the center line of the inflow pipe, which means the two outflow directions are both at 22 and a half degrees to the inflow direction. A true Y can be used in both plumbing and industrial applications. All right, class, we've now learned everything about a T, a cross, a Y, and a lateral. But just in case, let's do a quick review. So we learned today about the other fittings that change the flow of direction for a pipe, those being T's, Y's, laterals, and crosses. We learned that these fittings have inlets or outlets not in line with the run of the fitting, that the specifications for these fittings start with the run and then go to the branch. We also learned that to tell the difference between a Y and a lateral, it has to do with the application and the material of that fitting. All right, so that's about all the Literally. time that, oh, uh, this is kind of odd during my show. What, what is this place? Uh, it's Industrial Valco University. We teach about PVF. 
Okay, what's that? Um, well, have you heard of Harvard University? Yeah. Well, it's nothing like that. So, uh, what's in the box? I don't know. What's in the box? Seriously, I... Come on, what's in the box? Are you doing the thing from the movie Seven? Yeah, like Brad Pitt. You know, people think I look like him. <laughs> okay, Boomer. Oh, all right. Well, let's see what's in the box. Oh, it's a note. Exciting. You can buy everything that you see in these videos from iValco.com with 24-7 online ordering. Well, that's a great gift. All right. Well, thank you for joining us today, and we will see you soon. Good day, everybody. Hey everyone, thanks again for watching. Be sure to click the subscribe button so you do not miss a class. Also, be sure to go to iValco.com where you can get more information and resources for the items that you saw and also have the opportunity to purchase these items with our 24-7 online ordering. Also, be sure to visit our partners at the American Supply Association or ASA.net for additional training and courses that are tailored for all areas of the supply chain management.